Okay, so this will be F1B Vlog uh, episode 12. And here I have a couple of, uh, there's a, a, a stub and a motor stick that I had made up a while ago, got quite a while ago, probably a month or two ago, and I just have never gotten around to getting them apart and actually gluing them together. So I'm going to do that now. So this is a stub form. I had a gentleman make up one of these for me. They did it using uh, their personal lathe. So I have that. So I have the stub. And then on here is the motor stick. This probably sounds different from most of the ones that you use or you've seen before. This is actually a piece of drill rod um, that I like to make my motor sticks a little bit thicker than other people do, a little bit larger diameter. Uh, that way I can control the motor stick twist a bit more. I find folks like Brett Sanborn and uh, even John Kagan can get their their models to climb uh, with levels of wing twist that I just cannot get my models to climb that way. They tend to spin in. And the best way to stop that really is to use a little bit thicker motor stick. It has the most effect compared to uh, anything else uh, compared to dense changing the density or changing the uh, thickness of the wood. The, the largest single thing you can do to make the uh, stick stronger is to um, make the diameter larger. So here I have a motor stick and this was a bit of 4.4, 13 thousandths and here is my stub, which I believe was either nine or nine and a half thousandths. And what I'm going to do here for the first one. Hmm, that's strange. For some reason, the camera cut out on me there. do is keep doing it along here. I stopped it for a while there. Uh, now here's the kind of the moment of truth. And I did not actually glue it to the motor stick form, so that's good. Go back to the stub. Uh, let's see what we can do here. doesn't want to stick here. Not really sure why. Anyway, I'll do bang. Back to the center.
clean the needle off a little bit here. I'll try to get the last bit done here. Very light bead on the entire bit. A little bit more, pull it back. And I just try to use the edge of it to kind of guide the two sides together. I think we should be okay there. Yep. Alright, so that's how you glue these together.